another video in today's video I'm gonna be sharing with you how to create this look right here you guys I wanted to bring you a really beautiful fall look that is super super achievable okay I was inspired by my boo PR firecracker he just uploaded a video basically he created actually a look pretty similar to this where there's no cut crease involved it was such a beautiful pink cranberry kind of look i'll go ahead and leave his channel down below if you guys are interested you can go ahead and check him out he's phenomenal but he definitely inspired me today to sit down and create a easy fall glam for all the girlies out there who don't want to do a cut crease honestly all you need to know how to do for this look is how to blend that's it it is super simple super easy it's also one of those looks that you can really choose the colors that you want to use you could do this with orange with purple whatever colors you want it's just about the technique that you really want to get down packed and then of course you can create it in any color story that you like so for today's video i'm actually using the ace beauty tropical vibes palette you guys if you're still sleeping on this palette like i don't know what you're waiting for it is literally the perfect fall palette like look at this palette it is so freaking gorgeous i am absolutely obsessed i do have a discount code with ace Beauté if you guys are interested and i do have another tutorial using this palette i also have like a three look using one palette kind of reel on instagram so if you guys are interested be sure that you're following me on instagram i have posted with this palette before it is one of my favorites the formula is unmatched Obviously the colors are super beautiful, especially if you're into green eyeshadow, you'll be obsessed with this. So I definitely highly recommend it. I did try a few new things here and there in today's video. And I also wanted to shout out Makeup Missa. She is one of my favorite makeup artists on Instagram, on YouTube. I am obsessed with her work. If you don't follow her, you need to follow her. I'm going to post her right here. I'll post her Instagram and also a few of her looks right here. She is so freaking talented and she actually created this look. I don't know if she was the first to create this look, but that's where I seen it. So I'll go ahead and share the picture right here. Obviously hers is more intense, more blown out. So I kind of wanted to bring mine down a notch. Still a very beautiful look, but it's also really, really wearable and I'm just obsessed. So we're going to go ahead and jump into today's video. Before we do, please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you guys have not already. And of course, without further ado, if you would like to see how to create this really beautiful, simple, achievable fall makeup look, then just keep on watching. Okay, let's get into this super easy fall glam. I'm going to be using the Ace Beauté Tropical Vibes Palette. This is what it looks like. But first, you always need to prime those lids. Girl, if you are still using concealer when you're doing colorful looks, stop it. Okay, try out this P. Louise base. I promise you it's going to make a big difference. So I usually go ahead and just apply a few dots to my lid and then I go in with a pretty dense brush just to go ahead and make sure that it's all padded out, make sure I have a nice even layer on my lid. So jumping straight into the palette, like I said, this look is very easy, so we're going to go pretty quickly. I'm going to go into this shade right here called Army. I feel like that's the perfect name. It's a true army green. It is gorgeous. And I'm going to take it on a small blending brush. Now this brush is a little bit more packed tight so it's going to pack on that pigment then i'm going to go into the shade jungle and with this shade i'm going to go in with a little bit more of a fluffier brush it's still a tiny blending brush but it's definitely fluffier than the initial brush that we were using for the first shade so now what i'm going to do is go ahead and start to blend that line now i just want you to keep this in mind this look is going to look a hot mess until it starts to all come together, so just be patient with yourself. I'm going to go into the shade Chartreuse now, and I'm taking it on a bigger brush, but then I noticed this brush is a little bit too big for what I'm trying to do, so I switched over to this brush right here. You guys can see the major difference between the two. Both extremely fluffy brushes that aren't going to pick up too much pigment, and they're going to mostly just blend for you, but when the brush is a little bit too big, you're not going to get it exactly where you want it. So placement is definitely everything, and I wanted to make sure that I was placing it 
exactly where I want it. So now I'm going to go back into the shade Army, of course, and now is the point where I'm going to start to pack on all my colors all over again. Now I have everything pretty much laid down. I know exactly where I'm going with this eye look. Had to fix myself a little bit, girl. I had like a flannel on, so I was like sitting on the flannel and I was like, why does my arm feel like I can't move it? Well, because I was sitting on the flannel and it was like tugging on the sleeve. Anyway, moving on to the shade Cave, which is this beautiful color right here. It's very, very deep. However, it's not a black eyeshadow, which is perfect. So even though it's not as dark as black, you don't want to go too crazy with this color. I just added the slightest touch of this just to give the eye a little bit of definition. You guys can see. And then I just went back in with all my shades again. So I'm going to take a little bit more of a fluffier brush and just go ahead and add all those other greens in. Make sure everything is really beautiful and blended. This will take time. Please keep in mind you're watching a makeup tutorial. There's a lot of clips that are cut. So definitely take your time and just work on the blend. Now, when it came to the inner part of the eye, I wanted a vanilla shade. This was the palette that was sitting on my little desk, so I used it. This is the Beauty Bay Wilderness palette. I don't even think they carry this anymore, to be honest with you, but any vanilla shade will do. You don't want to use a stark white. It's going to stand out way too much. More like a skin tone vanilla shade. Yeah, that would work. So now I'm going to go into this liner right here. This is the Cara Beauty Liquid Liner in Black, and I'm just going to do a half liner like so. And then, of course, I wanted to add that really beautiful touch of gold liner. You guys, gold and green, it's a vibe. So I'm going in with this retro liner from Gavissi, and I do have a discount code with them if you guys are interested. All my discounts are always, always down below in the description box, so be sure to check them out. So I just took a liner brush. They also sell these brushes on their website, and I went ahead and added that gold liner. Then I'm going to go in with that same deep shade that we used, and I'm going to put that over top of where I stopped that liner, so that way it can blend really well into the eyeshadow, and you don't see that stark line. You guys can instantly see how that made it look smoky, blended. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. We love it. For lashes, I'm going in with the Lily Lashes in the style Rome. It's a very flirty, wispy, soft lash so I added those off camera let's get into the base makeup because you guys I love complexion so I'm going in with the elf halo glow liquid filter this has been my recent obsession I probably use it every single time I do my makeup it is fantastic I was gonna say every single day but you guys honestly I don't put on makeup every single day um but it's bomb so I forgot that I actually used this foundation in this video this is the YSL all hours foundation I was recently in Sephora and saw that it was on sale for $34 I think this is almost like a $50 foundation and you guys already saw saw my reaction girl the coverage is amazing I think they're actually going to get rid of this or they're reformulating it not 100% sure but if you can get your hands on it definitely try it it is stunning I can't believe I waited so long to try this foundation um but yeah it also has SPF so it's bomb I don't know if I'm gonna wear it that much on my channel to be honest because like I said it is currently on sale at Sephora, so it's most likely getting reformulated. They're pulling it from the shelves, um, so yeah. But I love it. It's amazing, and I'm so happy to have it in my collection. For cream bronzer, you guys can see I'm wet in with the Fenty Beauty Matchstick. It is amazing. And then I'm trying this concealer for the first time. This right here is the Say Beauty Hydra beam concealer you guys what's up with concealers lately we have the charlotte tilbury beautiful skin it gives you like a radiant glow this is called the hydra beam and then you have the Too Faced called the ethereal light like listen let me just say though this does not have glitter in it like the charlotte tilbury so that's great so this is almost giving you the same coverage as the charlotte tilbury but it doesn't have the glitter however it's not as much coverage as I would like. So for me, I can do skin tints, tinted moisturizers, BB creams, CC creams, all that kind of stuff. It's just the concealer. I need my concealer to be full coverage. That's just my personal preference. Will I try this out again? Yes, I will. This is probably perfect for those no makeup, makeup kind of days. It is a nice concealer. If you are somebody who has a lot of fine lines and wrinkles underneath your eyes, I think you would really enjoy this. It's very, very hydrating, but the coverage, I would say, is more light to sheer coverage. I don't even feel like you can build this up to medium because I feel like if you put too much of this on, it's going to look cakey. So I went over top of it with my Airbrush Flawless Concealer from Charlotte Tilbury. I really hope that they bring this back because the new Beautiful Skin is not this at all. Like, it's not a repackaged version of this. It's a completely different formula. So I really hope they bring this one back because you guys see those under eyes? Like, come on. It's giving flawless airbrush, full coverage, no creasing. It is just so freaking gorgeous. It's bomb. Packaging is terrible, but the formula is amazing.
To set underneath my eyes today, I wanted to use a new powder. This right here is from Ciate London, and they actually sent this my way, so I wanted to give it a shot because it's called the Coconut Loose Setting Powder, and coconut, like, I love anything coconut. So I wanted to try it out. It is a nice powder for the price and for what the brand is. It's definitely smoothing. It's definitely blurring. The only thing that I always have an issue with, and I feel like if you guys watch my channel, you already know this, I like a really bright under eye, and I I feel like this could be a little more brightening or a little bit more pigmented. I feel like when a nice setting powder has pigment in it, it gives you that brightening, blurring effect. However, it was really nice. It definitely looks like a filter, but I did have to go over top with my MAC powder in the shade Light Plus because, I don't know, I just needed a little bit more brightness, but it is really nice, and I am here to confirm that it does indeed smell like coconut. It's very strong. If you don't like scent in your makeup, you will not like this, but I personally enjoyed it, so I'm gonna be using it again for sure. To set the rest of my face, I'm gonna be using the Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. It's bomb. And then for bronzer, I'm gonna be using the Fruits Cosmetics Bronzing Palette. First of all, can we talk about the shades? They're really beautiful and work on a lot of skin tones. They're also a small business. I do have a discount code with them as well that'll be down below in the description box. And I was not expecting this to be as pigmented as it is. It is stunning. It blends so freaking well. So if you guys want to support a small business, like I said, everything will be down below. For my cream blush today, I wanted to use another one of these Wonder Sticks from NYX. You guys, these are so beautiful and so pigmented. And you guys know, I love cream blush, but the only way it makes it to my you need it list is if the cream blush not only works on cream, like over your liquids and everything, but it also works over top of powder. This is going on a already set face. It's not blotchy. It did not disrupt my foundation but honey, it was a little bit too pigmented for this look. So I went in with a more subtle muted blush. That one was from NARS and it's in the shade Behave. And I just went over top. And then you guys can see, like I mentioned before, I just went over top with the MAC powder in Light Plus. It's a really beautiful way to just brighten up your under eyes once you're pretty much set with everything. Um, it's stunning and definitely smoothing as well. I don't do this all the time, only when I'm testing out new powders or I'm using a powder that doesn't give me that beautiful brightening effect. Okay. So that's complexion for now. Let's finish up the lower lash line. I'm going to go into the shade Cave on a flat definer brush, of course. And I'm going to go ahead and pack that super, super tight onto my lower lash line. Make sure it's super nice and pigmented. I like to work darkest to lightest, and then I go back in with my darkest. I don't know. It just makes sense in my brain. Now I'm going to go into the shade Jungle again, of course. And I'm going to take a small blending brush, and I'm going to go ahead and just start to smudge that out. You want to make sure everything is really, really nice and blended. And you guys can see the eye look is coming together okay now that the base is on it was looking crazy at first but she's giving i'm gonna go into the shade chartreuse and i'm gonna take an even fluffier brush when it comes to the lower lash line don't be afraid to blow it out don't be afraid to get that eyeshadow going because it's gonna look so beautiful once you apply your bottom lash mascara so then I went back in with the deepest shade that I used and just went ahead and re-intensified. And then I'm going in with the House Labs Liner in Beige, Matte Beige or Beige Matte. It's beautiful. I like it. The formula is really good, but I still like my Too Faced Killer Liner more than I like this one. Um, I don't know, you guys. That liner just has my heart. If you're looking for a really good nude waterline pencil, the Too Faced Killer Liner in Killer Cashmere, it's amazing and it literally lasts on your waterline all day day it is so freaking good so now i'm gonna go in with my bottom lash mascara this is the mac giga black honey if you're not using this for your bottom lashes you just ain't doing it right okay this is the best bottom lash mascara period it's not up for discussion when you try it your life will be changed so you let me know when you try it and then we can be bottom lash mascara besties okay so let's get into the lips yes i'm showing you the lip combo in today's video so i'm going in with the alamar cosmetics lip liner in divina i think think that's what this one is called like i said everything is always down below it's a beautiful warm brown lip liner like this is fall in a lip liner so i like to line my lips of course and then i just go in and feather in my lips and you guys sometimes i get questions about how i get my lips to look filler and honestly i just filler i meant fuller anyway i basically just go over my cupid's bow just a little bit um and it just makes my lips look fuller that's it so I went in with the Artist Couture Lipstick in the shade Saucy Gal, and now I'm going in with this Michaela and Glam Light Lipstick. I am obsessed with this lipstick. This is from her Part 2 collection. 
it's gorgeous. To be honest with you guys, it's not a color I would use on its own. It's very pale, so even for me and my skin tone, it's very light. So I like to use it just as a center shade, just to lighten up the lips. For highlight, I'm going in with the LYS Beauty Highlighter in Brave. Such a beautiful, wet-looking highlight. It is gorgeous. So, so good. And then you guys know I like to always go back in with my blush brush just to make sure everything is nice and blended. Now, for setting spray, I wanted to use this one right here. I feel like when this launched, we all went crazy for it. And now it just sits on my little cart filled with a million other setting sprays um, because I only usually use my glow recipe but I used this one today and it was so good it gives your skin that really beautiful glow you guys already know the trick spray your beauty sponge pat it out on your hand and press that powder into the skin okay we want to look like a walking filter so that is the finished makeup look this is what the eyes look like up close so beautiful and such an easy look such an easy technique that you can do with so many different colors i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video again happy fall thank you so so much for watching and of course i'll see you guys in my next one bye Bye guys.